Greetings fellow admirals, welcome to the first, and very likely not the last, addendum to my top 15 favorite Konkole Kanmusu video from several months ago. While I stand by that list for the time I posted it, both the saving grace and the major issue with Konkole is that there are always new girls being added to the game on a regular basis. It's great to always have new, fresh faces to admire every month or so, but it's also the bane of just about any favorites list I ever make. Especially when there are new Germans introduced. <coughs> so, without further ado, let's cover what has changed in my lineup over the course of both the summer and fall 2014 events. Because of several additions to the list, Taiho and Shokaku have been pushed down to numbers 15 and 14 respectively, with Akashi actually making a leap over Shokaku to number 13. Why, you ask, of course? Because the developers seem to be making it a point to use all of their power to make Akashi so much more goddang adorable than she already is! Through the new feature of the Improvement Arsenal, or whatever the heck you want to call it, I like to call it the room where Akashi makes cutie faces at Admiral, she now has even more to do in-game besides heal your ships and administer the shop. She can upgrade your weapons for twice or three times the usual alien exploding fun. I appreciate the devs' adherence to finding new ways to interact with Akashi. It's further proof that she will never be forgotten, and only increase her popularity among players. Players like me, who can't deny the face! Moving on up, Amatsukaze and Zoikaku retain their original order on the list, now at numbers 12 and 11, respectively. But then we face our first major decline on this list. At number 10 is now Haruna. What did she do to deserve such a pushdown? Well, to be honest, not really anything. As I'll mention more in depth later in higher entries, it's just the combination of me recently discovering how much more several certain characters mean to me, and a couple new girls jumping onto this list from the past two events. Compared to who will be appearing above her, I just don't have the same kind of emotional attachment that I used to. But she's still managed to keep a place in my top 10, so my love for her has got to be pretty strong, right? I mean, I would say it's nothing personal, but, well, this is a completely personal list, so that's how it's got to be. Alright, now to our first addition to the list, at number 9. It's actually an old face. Shigure. You may recall her being placed in my honorable mentions at the end of my top 15 favorites video, and while I don't believe I made a mistake in putting her there at the time, finally acquiring her beloved Kaini form in-game made her someone I simply couldn't deny anymore. There is something about Shigure that I can never seem to exactly pinpoint and identify that makes me so attracted to her, but I've always found her to be one of the most beautiful girls in the entire game, and that feeling's been bubbling for a long time coming. While there's more for me to like about Yudachi as a whole, and trust me, Yudachi is still certainly on this list, I've always had this underlying irrational Shigure fascination that is something almost impossible for me to properly describe into words that would make sense. As a placeholder excuse, I'm going to blame the eyes and her overall soothing tone, but besides that, it's just love. Further up, we find Suzia at number 8, now above Haruna as hinted at before. In my venture to acquire the final medal needed for the blueprint that would gain me Bismarck dry, in a fit of intense frustration, I made a risk that would ultimately sink my level 70-something Suzia at the 3-5 boss node. And even though I powered through like a trooper and blew that Sue class's robocop looking catcher's mitt wearing sour slice of alien booty out of the water immediately afterward in one swift strike for the raw, satisfying flavor of vengeance and that metal, it dealt a brief but heavy blow to my willpower to lose such a friend like that. Fortunately, I had a recently acquired level 1 Susia sitting around in my dock at the time, at first waiting to be used for modernization purposes, but the fact remains that the experience consequently caused me to value the girl even more adamantly and that's what ultimately gives Suzia a higher standing, relative to Haruna, on this list than before. Next, we have another addition, and get used to this because there are two more brand new additions coming up on this list. At number 7 now, it's, surprise surprise, Akitsumaru. Yes, this time a girl who not only isn't from either recent aforementioned event, but also was never once brought up on my original top 15 favorites list, Kitsumaru is the biggest and probably the only regret I have regarding my choices made for that video. And here I thought I did a completely thorough search through all the Kanmusu in the game at the time. I ended up completely neglecting a character that is simultaneously sympathetic, relatable, and appealing to me due to her strange auxiliary functions, outcast position by the judging eyes of the other girls she's supposed to consider team members, oh, and the fact that she greatly resembles the look of the enemy vessels for some unexplained reason. I always wanted my own abyssal girl to snuggle with and pity, and Akitsumaru will serve as a substitute quite swimmingly. <laughs> Get it? Swimmingly? <laughs> Don't worry, Maru, my girl. My peers in high school never knew what to make of me either. 
I'll give you a rightful place you can belong to, though. Right here is my lucky number seven favorite Konkole character. Now, with number six, we finally see my first relatively new character befitting of this addendum, Tokitsu Kaze! Remember how I mentioned I thought Amatsu Kaze was so cool and that's what caused me to side with her over Shima Kaze? Well, if Amatsu Kaze is cool, then Tokitsu Kaze is the black ice that I didn't see coming. This charming little girl is often very cute in an appropriately puppy dog way. But she ain't gonna take your crap if you get out of line. You wanna do an all-nighter? Screw that, she's going to sleep. See you in the morning. Think it's funny to poke her too many times? Forget that, she'll bite your finger off. God forbid you decide you wanna waste her time. I hope you're ready to become acquainted with a newfound ring in your eardrums to the constant tune of... <laughs> for the next several days, because not only will she make it abundantly clear that she's looking for you, she'll involuntarily make everyone else at the dock snatch you away from whatever hour-long whimsical dump you might be taking just for the sake of shutting her up. And I hope for your sake that it is just you on the toilet, not having sex with your waifu or some other devious behavior that you're keeping secret from everybody else, because you picked the absolute worst person to keep waiting on it. No one keeps secrets from Tokitsu Kaze. Though, you might have a shot of keeping her quiet if you buy her some delicious ice cream. <sighs> but besides all that, Tokitsu Kaze is immensely charming. She's a real angel. Trust me. And finally, we begin to come to a close with the changes to my favorites with two more mentions. At number five now sits Yudachi, where Haruno would have been. While Suzia had a story for her rise above our Shrine Maiden Battleship friends, there isn't much to Yudachi's. If you want my reasons for why I love my poi so much, go take a look at my original Top 15 Favorites video, but otherwise, my stand by her is as solid as Stone Cold Steel, and my passion for her is as hot as an exploding torpedo. So, as I said before, there were two points that needed to be addressed. The first and briefest was Yudachi's position, which or I think about it, really isn't all that different from her previous one. And the second is the most obvious insertion into this list that pretty much all of you already long saw coming. Ladies and gentlemen, now at number three on my Kamusu favorites list, I give you... Prince Eugen. Yeah, this entire video was all in all just a huge build-up to the inevitable, wasn't it? The only surprise here has got to be the fact that she's likely lower than you all expected her to be. That means I like Ryuho more than her? Well, admittedly, Ryuho still has that golden uniqueness of having endearing and legitimate character development throughout each of her remodels. There is still no other character who has what she has, and I will continue to hold her up on that pedestal until another character rivals her in that specific regard. Or they're somehow equivalent to the 2D embodiment of perfection that Bismarck is, which is basically impossible. But speaking of Bismarck, she is indeed so much of an insurmountable goddess that she actually inadvertently paved the way for Eugene to skate her way up to number three like she has. Eugene is literally a mini Bismarck. No, 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 no. She's not even just a mini Bismarck. She is a Bismarck fangirl. That is so utterly ridiculous, and yet so utterly sensible, respectable, and relatable to me that I had no choice but to fall in love with this little adorable, or, uh, princess. <laughs> For our mutual appreciation of the one true Kanmusu, take my ring already, you scrumptious, beer-drinking pudding head, you. It's a token symbol of our united mission to get the attention of the Divine Senpai. We Bizcophiles need to stick together! And so that ends the first installment of likely several inevitable addendums to my top 15 favorite Konkoli characters. As the character roster continues to grow with future updates and events, it'll become tougher and tougher to consider who should either remain or be excluded from this list. With that said, there might be a time when I'll have to increase the number on this list to balance out that growth. But for now, with just under 150 unique girls, I'm thinking 15 is still adequate for now. Just remember, if this addendum proves anything, I'm not beyond changing my mind about an old face, and I'm not above adding a new one if they match up with my taste. But until next time, whenever that may be, this is the current status of my liking, even if there are certain girls I feel guilty for not being able to put on here at the moment. In the meantime, though, have a swell day, fellow admirals, and thanks for watching.